Oh, man, does this get you amped or what? It does. Hell yeah. I feel like I can take a fat kid at a Walmart right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of On the Throne with Dick. And as always, you know, intro song is brought to you by Senjin. Uh, what what an incredible guy that guy is. You know, uh, uh, I've been watching him a lot more on uh, YouTube and uh, Instagram since, since our episode I did with him. And, you know, the guy is just evolving. It's insane. And, uh, you know, uh, on today's, today's episode, we have a special guest, uh, Bad Daddy Official. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> not much, buddy. What's going on with you? Oh, not much. Just chilling, hanging out in the garage. About the only quiet place in my house. <laughs> Is that Bud Light you're drinking? No. <laughs> no, that's Keystone right there. Keystone. All right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the Bud Lights, I guess. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. So... I don't know if you want to, you know, introduce yourself there or not, but uh, man, your your content, I I love it. You know the, <laughs> you know it's it's great, and yeah. you know I I always see you on the heelys and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and, I love the heelys. Yeah, I'm a bad daddy. I don't know. I'm the pickup line guy, I guess. Uh, just having fun with it. Just just I don't know, enjoying it, having fun, creating content for uh, all kinds of different reasons. So. Uh, where, where are you from? I am from Arkansas, born and raised. Arkansas. Is that the deep south? I, I don't Arkansas. know. Arkansas. Yeah, all, I guess. It's all the deep south to me. So. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm right on the Oklahoma border. So. You're, you're Oak, Oki. I was going to say Oki from Muskogee, but uh, yep. that that's Oki from Muskogee is, is a Canadian thing. So. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. So, uh, dude, the Heelys. I, that's what drew me in, you know, because like. I had a pair of Heelys in high school. Yeah. And uh um they they were sort of cool, but not really. Yeah. Right. Um, I know I was already I think I wasn't with my wife yet when I had them, but I, I rolled I definitely had them while we were together and I rolled around high school with them. Yeah. Dude, they're fun. I never had a pair when I was younger. This is actually my first pair I just got a few months ago. I seen uh some other guy on on TikTok or Instagram somewhere doing some videos in them was like, I gotta get the Heelys, gotta get the Heelys, and they've been a big hit ever since. So, oh yeah, yeah. dude, <laughs> the short shorts and the Heelys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It it took me a couple days to learn how to not bust my ass on them. So that's been fun. I used to play ball hockey in them. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh they, yeah. Uh, apparently mm-hmm. they're really bad for your feet and your ankles so as a whole. Yeah. But I don't know. They yeah. they were they were a lot of fun anyways. My dad bought me my my first pair. I was yeah, I think I was sixteen. I don't know. Yeah. Oh man, they're they're yeah. They're fun. I don't I don't know how you can play ball hockey on them, but uh I can barely just get one one straight enough line to do a pickup line and that's about it. So I'm yeah. I'm can, I'm Canadian. We we find ways to play ball hockey in all kinds of situations. <laughs> I saw. I was gonna ask. You got that Canadian accent. Do you? Uh, you like Trailer Park Boys? That's one of the best, my favorite shows. Um, no, actually, I I can't watch the Trailer Park Boys. I'm not. I'm not really into them. But uh, honestly, I haven't given them much of a chance either. Right? Yeah. I've tried every now and then. I'll pick it up, and it's like nah. But the more the more I get into you know Canadiana, you know what I mean? Like certain Canadian, um, like. <laughs> I don't know heritage moments, if you will. Like I think you know, it always comes back down to uh, to Trailer Park Boys, and mm-hmm. and I think you know I'm always quoting quoting them, and I don't want know anything about them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Nice. So how how did you get into that character? Like what what made you uh, want to become Bad Daddy? Well, uh, it's a long story, but uh, so. I've had a camera in my hands ever since I was a little kid, since my parents bought our first camera when I was, hell, 10 or 12. And uh, do you ever watch, uh, have you ever heard of CKY or Jackass? Like before, uh, yeah. yeah. When they bought that camera, that's all I wanted to do was do pranks on people and and they got me into it. So kind of got into it in and out of the years, on and off, uh, started playing guitar. I played in metal bands for like, 10 plus years and uh had my son I, I quit playing guitar so i was like i need to get 
back into making some content. So I just really honestly throwing different shit at the wall for, for years. And, uh, one day I on the phone with my buddy, Joe, I'm like, dude, I got to just come up with a character. Cause that seems like what, what's really sticking for people. So he actually shaved his beard, had the big mustache and he kept begging me to shave it and didn't want to do it. But finally I did it one day and that's, that's basically it. And, uh, the, the kind of the, the, the sexy laugh and all that was, uh, I would actually make fun of myself in the mirror. I thought I looked so damn goofy. I would stand in the mirror and be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> like just making fun of myself. So that's kind of part of how I developed, you know. You, you sort of got a little bit of a Beavis and Butthead kind of sound to it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Beavis and Butthead. My judge is the man. That that was that was awesome, man. Like, yeah, um, and and you're all over cameo too, right? Like, I don't think cameo is a big thing here in Canada, but like, you know, you're you're every time I talk to you, every time we message, you're yeah, I gotta make cameos. You know, I'm just Bro, making some cameos. So the, the cameo is unreal. Like, I get so many requests, and like, I work I work full time for FedEx. I drive fedex all day long and then i get home and i got five ten cameos i got to get done and of course i can only get a few done per hour because i put a little bit of time into them and uh yeah just trying to keep caught up on them is a uh, kind of a pain in the butt so I, i'm almost caught up right now so i can make some content tomorrow that's amazing so you you work for fedex eh that's, yeah. uh, do you have you heard of um rig shady Mm -mm. on tiktok yeah, i think he's from texas he was like a huge creator that i really really enjoyed following for a little while and uh he worked for i think usps or united yeah usps or something like that yeah and uh he made content but he showed the truck and he yeah. and, and he did a lot of that stuff and uh he he got fired from his job after 26 years on the job for oh. creating content on the truck yeah and uh he he, he they wanted him to take the content down but he wouldn't do it he's like yeah. no you know and and uh so he got let go and i don't know what happened after that but you know shortly after that it was um i, I don't want to assume but there was a lot of things that were said in his lives yeah so it was either either that it was either tiktok or i think his wife right yeah and and so he came on live one night he said this is my last live he's yeah. like maybe i'll be back someday but right now this has to go away yeah and uh it was it was a shame uh i think looking back on it he had about the same amount of followers as i have now when he left yeah and uh you know uh, he always interacted with me always engaged with me and stuff like that and 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 we were we were becoming friends i guess i don't know yeah. that that yeah. name sounds kind of from you said rick shady rig rig shady, rig shady? Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe i haven't it sounds kind of familiar but my boss did the same thing to me i well i work for a contractor there goes my screen i work for a contractor so i don't actually work for fedex i work you know how that works and uh i made one in this truck one day just I forget the song, but I was like maybe WAP or something like that, dancing on the truck. And uh, I made sure to block out his contractor name and all that. And uh, like a day or two later, they sent out a notice, like no filming in trucks, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, uh, just to let you know, I posted this video, you know, is this okay or not? And they're like, he's like, ha ha, that's funny. But yeah, take that shit down real quick. So no more of that. And I'm actually like, I'm so... I've been doing this so long. I don't want to do any kind of FedEx content. Like people's ask me that all the time. Like, why don't you do FedEx content? I'm like, cause I do that all damn day. I don't. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. No. And, and you know, you found your niche anyways, and it has nothing to do with FedEx. It has nothing to do with delivering packages unless it's, unless it's your other package. Delivering uh, the package. <laughs> unless it's delivering the package. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. And I get that. You know, you do that all day long. Why would you want to do it in your spare time for fun, too? Yeah. I get that. And, I mean, and, you know, when if I end up, you know, being able to quit my job because of this, I'm not going to be able to do FedEx content anymore anyway. So absolutely completely out of the way or out of the picture. Absolutely. I make oil field content and I work in the oil field. And so I kind of get that. Sometimes it's exhausting. Sometimes it feels like you're not really leaving work. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So where where are you at? Are you in uh, Alaska or Canada? I'm in Canada. You're okay. Yeah, I'm okay, in some... I'm in northern Alberta. Oh, I live in southern Alberta. I live in Calgary. We're moving soon back to Edmonton, which is three hours north of here. And I work up north. And right now up north, I don't know if you've been listening to the news at all or anything like that, but uh, Alberta is currently being ravaged by wildfires all over. And it happens every yeah. year. Happens yeah. every year because it's dry and hot this time of year. And and but this year is really bad. And the town I and the town I work in, we just got evacuated. I uh, on Saturday they gave us the four hour evac notice, and uh, uh, yeah, we got out of there. So uh, yeah. cur- currently the town is apparently okay. Uh, it's, it, the fire is six kilometers from town, but it's spread like almost a hundred kilometers long. Yeah. Holy shit! And I don't know if you know what kilometers are because you're you you deal in freedom measures. That's so. the, <laughs> I deal in America. No, that was about three miles, three or so, no three three kilometers in a mile, something like that. So yeah, something. So yeah. So Close basically, if you want to go hours, because you guys can measure in hours too. You're like, oh, it'll take me three hours to get there. So the fire is just over an hour of width. Yeah. Damn. No, I haven't heard about any of that. Oh, it's oh, dude, it's everywhere. You know, um, you, you have you heard of Fort McMurray? Mm-mm. In twenty sixteen, they had a wildfire that ravaged the town. It missed. It it displaced ninety thousand people. Holy shit! Yeah. So far, this is right. over, just over twenty thousand, I think, altogether, and that's multiple towns all at once. Yeah. Yeah. So that's shout sorry. out, shout out to the first responders who are doing, yeah. uh, doing their part up there to keep everyone safe and trying to get people back to their homes. So, hell yeah, yeah, buddy. Um, so back to the cameo thing. Like, how much do you charge for that? It, it, uh, and I, I don't know if there is a charge for it. I just assume. yeah, you you uh basically you set your own price. Um, a lot of creators uh, and celebrities set them real high. I. I'm kind of, I, I try to keep mine fairly low so I get more orders and I, I, I do about a minute per video, but I charge $29.99 per video and I'm trying to keep it as low as I can. Um, so I know a lot of people keep telling me, raise it up. You know, you need to charge more than that. I'm like, no, that 30 bucks is good, you know, and that, that keeps the orders flowing. So, but yeah, man, I stay busy all day working and then coming home and doing that shit all night. So, but That's it's fun. Awesome, man. It's a, uh, it's my acting practice, I guess I could say. Uh, man, I my my long term goal eventually is to to be an actor. So, or, good for you. Yeah. Nice. So, so we actually had this conversation a couple weeks ago on the podcast where uh, I don't know if you know who Bentelect is. He's got like twenty million followers across all social media, I think almost 12 here on TikTok. And um, he's out of Minnesota. And he said back in the day, if you wanted to aspire to be anything or become a star or whatever, you had to move to LA. Yeah. And because of TikTok and all that now, you can become oh, yeah. a full-blown star in your living room. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's crazty man so what what is your what's your favorite one that you've done your favorite cameo and and has have you done any for any people uh of of fame or anything like that uh i've done close to 500 cameos so <laughs> i know i have I, I i can't remember off the top of my head i remember somebody telling me um oh it was an actor one of the actors in twilight not one of the not one of the big actors it was one of the wolves I can't remember his name. It was one of the wolves in Twilight. This is for him. Um, that's probably the biggest I've done. Uh, but but as far as my favorite, I'm I'm not sure to be honest. I just I get so caught up in just trying to get so many done. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But uh, that's pretty they're, cool though. They're fun. They're fun as hell to do. It's, you know, it's a blast. All right, all right. If if you had to do one for me. If you had to, just by watching my content and, and talking to me, if you had to say something to me off the top of your head, what would you come up with? Oh, hell. Uh, probably like, uh, probably something about your mustache. Mm, I like that mustache. You want to give me a mustache ride? <laughs> Dick Frost? I'll show you some Dick Frost. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. Love that. 
you could totally be a firefighter because you look like you know how to carry a big hose under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Are you single? Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> hey, I gotta. I'm at home right now, so I gotta get my wife out of here because she needs to take some lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you might have just done all the work for her tonight. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> my wife gets the best though you should have seen what i did for her is she out here oh man she's <laughs> on her birthday holy shit was it valentine's day she didn't think i got her nothing and she went in the it was nice she was kind of pissy at me she went in the shower and i was like staying there for a minute i got my big ass bluetooth speaker set up i got my fucking speedo put a bunch of rose petals on the bed and I was like, all right, come out. And I hit a careless whisper. You know, careless whisper, right? Yeah. Yeah. I blasted that. And I was just laying there in my Speedo and some rose. Oh. Candles. In the candles. I had candles lit up. Yeah. That was, that was, uh, I should have had that dog. on. <laughs> you dog you. Yeah. That's beautiful. I like that. Damn. Mm -hmm. Thanks for giving me some ideas. Mother's Day is coming up here. so That's a good idea for anybody who forgets their wife's Valentine's Day presents last minute. <laughs> <You were. laughs> well, it's, it's, it's Mother's Day, right? So uh, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe I wouldn't get that for my mom. <laughs> maybe I wouldn't make a cameo for my mom, but definitely for my wife. Oh. But, um, you, you know, I, I've said some pretty off colored shit to my mom uh, on Mother's Day. Like, hey, happy Mother's Day to the woman I've been deeper inside than any man ever has. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know? oh. oh that's what uh, I just remembered. Uh, oh, what's the one I like to? Ah, shit. It's uh, I'm jealous of your baby because I wish I could spend nine months inside of you. That's another good one. So. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That's good. Oh. Man. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So, hey, where can everyone find you on uh, social media? I don't want to go too far into it, just in case you know people drop off every now and then. You never, you never know. So, um, you know, before we get too far into the podcast, um, where can people find you on on social media? Uh, TikTok. It's Bad Daddy Official. Instagram, it's official bad daddy, and then uh, got a new Facebook page, a couple months old. Uh, hell, I don't even know what that's called. You probably just look up bad daddy on Facebook, and you'll find me. Do you know yeah. what it's called? Uh, it's all right. Yeah, just just Google bad daddy official. You'll yeah, you'll find it all. Nice. I yeah. uh, I don't think I follow you on Facebook yet. Uh, I know I follow you on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, I didn't know you had a Facebook either. That's, oh, that, yeah. God, I don't want to get into Facebook. I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Facebook's kind of pissing me off a little bit. Jesus. They uh, they've demonetized every page I've ever made. They uh, so I made this new page about two or three months ago. I've I'm already at 130 thousand followers on Facebook. They monetized me for about a week, and then. No, you no reason at all. You you can't make money no more, and they won't tell me why. Wow. Said I'm making unoriginal content. Oh, so I I'm monetized on Facebook, and uh, I think they took the monetization off the bo reels bonuses away yeah, from the, everyone. Yeah. That's gone now. I yeah. think they realized they were giving money away, like hand, oh, hand over face, mm -hmm. and they're like, nope. So now I only make them off uh, off of uh, ads. The ads, right? yep. Right. That's what they took away from me. Yeah, and and I'm doing pretty good on that actually. I whoops, you know, and we're doing good. I just hit 20k. I think I'm at 20.6k this morning uh, oh, for yeah. for followers on the Facebook. There, Facebook was a hard hard not to crack there for a while. It was yeah. how do I grow on this thing, right? Yeah. And uh, so now I'm I'm trying to grow on youtube i've got the youtube going i've got i'm almost that i think i'm just about 600 subscribers so i know once i get to a thousand right then the monetization has the ability to be ability, there, yeah right it doesn't mean it will but oh yeah that's what i'm doing um i put the podcast video up on youtube mm -hmm. uh to support the long form content for ads for when i do get monetized this yeah. is going there because I just post shorts there. So, yeah. so I started posting the podcast there and, you know, I think it's for every 10 minutes of video, you get an ad or something like that. So, yeah. 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 YouTube is a pain in the ass. I've had my YouTube channel for 10 years and uh, over 10 years. And 
I'm just now hit 2000 like yesterday and I'm still not monetized. It, that, that watch time is hard to get, especially with shorts, either like 40 hours or like 10 million views, I think. So yeah. I only get like 2000 views per short or per reel. And it's like, they cut it off like that. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a little tough to crack, mm -hmm. but honestly, I'm still having fun. I don't even want it. Once you put a monetary value on something, it becomes a it becomes like a job, right? So yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, it'd be nice to get there, but I'm I'm just having fun. So if we get there, oh, we yeah. get there. If we don't, we don't, right? So yeah, that's yeah. that's my 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 point is I like I don't even care if I get rich or anything. I just want to be able to quit my day job and be able to just spend time with my family, have fun making videos I want to make and make, you know, enough to pay my bills. And Well, you said you, you know. want to become an actor, right? Well, yeah, I do want to become an actor. I love acting. But at the end of the day, if, if I can just make enough doing making content, I'd be. As long as I'm making videos, you know what I mean? That's that's so, what I want to do. What I've learned off of my whole social media experience that everybody's watching. Mm -hmm. you don't know who's watching. You don't know if any of those trolley comments are, is some big wig, right? Yeah. And so what, I, yeah, what I've learned is that everyone's watching. So so do you, have you gotten any uh, sponsorship offers or, or any offers be like, have you put it out into the world basically that you are looking to become an actor? Have you, have you, have you made that known, man? Because I'm pretty sure if you made that a, a little bit known and with your following, well, you got 400 and some odd thousand, don't you, on TikTok? Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't ever said that, hey, I want to be an actor on there. I, I I guess I'm just hoping it comes. Somebody sees me. I, I've got some brand deals and stuff, but uh, no. Man, you, you put that out into the universe, someone will see it. Yeah, uh, I hope so. I guess I'm just, I don't know. I got to get some more confidence in myself. Well, dude, you exude it. You know what I mean? Like in your videos. And and what I, what I think I like about your stuff is something that I have a hard time doing. You don't really care who's around when you're making them, right? Like you just, I mean. <laughs> My wife's sitting right here. Yeah, when I was doing cameos earlier, I go out in the backyard and uh I'm like, are you going in the house? She's like, no. I'm like, well, I'm making cameos, so I had to make her go in the house because I don't like people. I, I don't like it when she watches me because it makes me nervous. But it, it, part of that, like, man, I was always nervous. I was always real nervous growing up. I always got made fun of and stuff, and this is kind of like me. That's what I was saying earlier. Like, part of the reason I – there's a lot of reasons I make videos, and part of that is because I, I never felt appreciated. I never felt love, not because my parents my, – I have great parents, but I never felt wanted by anybody. Uh, so now I'm just trying to put that out there. You know, I'm trying to make other people feel appreciated. I'm trying to do things outside of my comfort zone. You know, I would – you know, a few years ago, I would have never been – seen in a speedo anywhere ever and now i'm walking into places in a speedo speedo <laughs> nervous as hell nervous as hell but doing it you know just to you know do you get weird looks oh hell yeah yeah yeah, awesome. yeah especially especially in arkansas right like i don't know much about <laughs> about the u.s and or 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 the or the deep south but like i do oh. know you know like you know you 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 got to kind of toe the line in the South, right? You kind of got to, you know, there, there's a, there's a lot, there's a boundary or a line and you got to watch it. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of hard people down here and people that, I don't know, they're unaccepting. I guess I'll just leave it at that. So you gotta, yeah, you know what I mean? I think you get that everywhere you go, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Does Arkansas have an is it is it an open carry state? It is no uh, no actually it's a uh, constitutional carry. You don't need a concealed carry or anything. So the Carolinas just did that. I think you know they you don't need a permit or anything like that to carry. You could just carry it anywhere you want to go. They just made that into law like within the last month. Oh yeah. Yep. 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 
you know, when when I go down to the U.S., we we go down. I was in uh, where was I last? We oh, we just went to Montana not long ago. So like that's just below us, right? So Montana, yeah. North Dakota, uh, we go to Salt Lake City every now and then. We Seattle, you know, um, all all uh, I know I know Seattle's a no state tax uh, place, and oh, that's hell why yeah. I go. That's why I go there. Yeah, uh, yeah, and. But when, when I go down to places like Florida and stuff like that, right, it's like for California, it's like, oh, shit, who's packing, right? Just what you oh, hear yeah. in the news and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, and that might be a little, I, I don't know. I, I don't like that I do that. But, like, I do it more so jokingly, right? I don't I don't fear for my life or anything like that. I just like, oh, I wonder who's packing, right? Because, like, yeah. you can. In Canada, man, it's, it's damn near illegal just to say the word gun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would assume different, but I get all my, my Canadian knowledge from trailer park boys. So <laughs> <laughs> they're already oh. carried it. Oh yeah. No, uh, there's a sound on TikTok actually that from bubbles that I did, uh, two years ago and I got to do it again. Uh, cause that video is old and I don't like the hat that I was wearing in it and I didn't have my brand deal yet, but it was, uh, stop signs, uh, squeeze titties on passenger. Too bad I don't have a freaking passenger. Right? <laughs> and <laughs> oh yeah, oh man, that's awesome. How uh, many? So, so you were saying you were saying that you you were in a band? Oh yeah, I was in a few bands. Yeah, for over ten years. Um, nothing real, real big. Uh, I was in uh, my main project was uh sickness the swan i was in a band called bloodworm that's on youtube uh we were fairly big we were sponsored by a guitar company i forget the name fernandez maybe and uh i don't know we, they just decided to break up one day so i was like all right so uh, that's crazy yeah my uh when my first son when my wife was pregnant with my first son she got sciatica real bad and she was in and out of the hospital. So I basically told my band members like, Hey, you know, I, I don't have time for this. We're way too busy and, uh, never touched the guitar since then. So eight years or so. And, uh, yeah, now I don't even want to touch a guitar cause it, it kind of hurts. You know, that was my passion, but yeah, no, I, you know, I, I kind of, I kind of hear that in a way. Um, you know, uh, Pokemon cards. Oh shit! <laughs> that was that was my passion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we had this conversation with last week's guest. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, yeah. babe, go grab my binder. <laughs> oh shit! He's busting out the. Po How many Pokemon cards you got? I got the whole original Hollow set. Yes, I got you my do. Charizard, baby. Original oh. Charizard. And and does he listen to you? Like you're you're a uh, good enough trainer you have enough badges sometimes i whisper to him and uh, he listens to me do you write cameos for him <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> then that's i had uh oh geez i don't know how old are you uh i don't even know 34 am i 34 i yeah. forget i'm 34 yeah oh we're the same age really we're the same age hell yeah i thought you were older than me Oh shit! It's a stash. You got the sexy stash. Oh, dude! When I shaved that thing, I got ID'd last week. I had to <laughs> shave it off for it was for a good cause. Um, you shaved I, it off last yeah, week? Two weeks ago now. Two and, and it's already ago. grown back. It took well, me forever to grow this. Well, it was really thick, right? I don't know if you've seen it when it was thick and it was down here a little yeah. bit more. And yeah, and and buddy, buddy's like, how much to shave that off? And I tell you, man. Uh, the North American oil and gas workers spend their money faster than they can make it. Yeah. And Buddy paid me a decent amount to shave my mustache off. And I'm like, yeah, dude, it'll be back in a week. What do I care? <laughs> right? So yeah. he thought, I don't think he thought long and hard about it. But whatever. <laughs> it was all good. He's a, he's a solid guy. Shout out to Jordan from Grand Prairie or, or somewhere up in that area. Anyways, uh, we, we talk all the time. And he sent me a couple universes on TikTok the other night. Three of them. Yeah. Do you ever go live on TikTok? Me and my buddy Casey, we'll do live karaoke every every now and then, maybe once or twice a month. We'll do live karaoke. Um, 
it's fun. It's fun. But what I, but I, we usually end up staying up way too late and getting hung over and, uh, regretting it the next day. So that's not bad. That's not bad. It, you know, I, I go live a lot. Like I, not as much as I used to, but still, you know, a significant amount anyways. And that's, you know, I, I don't know if you guys, uh, can battle in the U S or not. Uh, yep. And and yeah, so you guys can battle. So I don't know if the gifts are different there. I get a lot. A lion is like the second highest paid gift, and the universe is the first. And yeah, I don't know. I, I I see the TikTok universe, and then my wife will be like, "Somebody sent you a corgi," and I'm like, oh, "Hell yeah, a corgi!" I don't know. I don't ever know what any of it means. So, but I, I've never really got a whole bunch i think the most i've made on a live is like 35 bucks in a night so that's like five six seven hours of karaoke and but it's fun i love i love doing the karaoke and that's for sure uh man well you're gonna have to message me next time that happens because i haven't seen one uh i haven't seen you guys do that yet and yeah so i i definitely want to uh you know sit in on one of those and, and watch that and by the way when you get a corgi corgi you're supposed to twerk. I'm supposed to twerk. You're supposed to twerk. That them's the rules. Them's the that rules is, on that, them. That's good to know. I'll twerk so hard next time I get a corgi. This, uh, I think that's like the second or third amendment uh, of TikTok. Thou shalt twerk. <laughs> all the all the pretty yeah. people seem to do it. So. Oh, I'm not that pretty though. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you bringing out your Pokemon cards? I don't know. I told my wife to go get my binder, but she she disappeared into the into the void. So maybe she'll come back out with them. Hopefully. So I I just wanna I gotta do this real quick. This is the first time. Um, you guys might notice people watching that I have a headset, and for the people that are listening only, uh, I have a new mic, so I might sound better. Um, I don't know yet. I might have to play around with the settings a little bit, but we got a sponsor. The podcast is officially sponsored and, uh, you know, which that's huge. That's insane. I never thought, you know, I, I was a part of another podcast before and that was something I was hoping we'd work to, but never got around to doing. So the fact that it's happening here is that's it's something. So, you know, big shout out to Mudman Market, uh, www.mudmanmarket.com uh, for all your drilling fluids and uh, laboratory equipment needs uh, for the rigs, uh, you know, oil rigs and stuff like that. And so, uh, man, I love that guy. I've talked to him quite a bit uh, over the last year or so uh, over, over the internet, I guess, Instagram, TikTok, and, you know, I bring me shirts and hats and stuff like that and yeah he reached out and said hey how would you like a sponsor and i was down so this beautiful new mic and this headset come courtesy of the mud man thanks bud yeah you, you still there yeah i'm here awesome um so do you have your own merch or what like yes, you, gotta have, you gotta have your own merch. I got two merch stores, but I've only sold one thing out of one of the merch stores. Uh, I don't sell a whole lot of merch. I what? sell, yeah, one or what two here of, and there. What kind of merch you got? Oh, I got well, I I got basically pictures of me, and they have pickup lines on them. Like, uh, if girls were boogers, I'd pick you first. Uh, did you just fart because you blew me away? And then I got I got my buddy. Uh, 511 underscore media on Instagram. Shout out to Rick. Made me a badass new design. And uh, he's actually designed a couple of my shirts. So, uh, yeah. What, what What's your website? Where can we find that? It's uh, baddaddyofficialmerchstore.com. Baddaddyofficialmerchstore.com. That's, sure. that's pretty badass. Basically, everything is bad daddy. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Get, get that, that uh, brand name out there. Do you do you ever find do you do you get recognized a lot in public? No, not Never. really. No, really. No, I, I mean I have been a few times, but not as much as I would think. Because normally I wear like I don't wear the, obviously the glasses are fake, so yeah, I just wear this hat usually, my El Yucateco hat and like a different shirt. And uh, but I did have one. Uh, did you bring that? Oh, my gosh, got something for us. 
Oh, I did have one a couple weeks back, uh, sitting at a bar in Fort Smith. Uh, people, this this guy and this girl kept staring at me, and they finally came over. They're like, you know, you really look like that guy on TikTok who does pickup lines. And I'm like, you mean this guy? And they're like, holy! They were blown blown away. They didn't they didn't believe it was me. That's crazy, man. Oh, what's go. he got here? Oh yeah, you guys aren't watching yet. He's got a whole binder full of holographics. Those are the OG. Look at that. You got the OG Charizard right there. Oh. Those so you're you're the same age as me. We were what eight when that when that came out? Seven? Oh yeah, I was in middle school, fifth or sixth grade when I started mm. getting these. Who's your favorite Pokemon? Charizard, man. Charizard, oh, Charizard. Yeah, that's your favorite, okay. Oh okay. yeah. All right. My my favorite, oh man. So my favorite's Heracross. 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 Is that a newer one? It's. I don't know. When did you stop? When did you stop watching? But I, well, I never really watched. I watched the movie back in the day. I never really watched the show much. I was more just into to getting the cards. So my son's so, big into it now. He's getting all the new stuff, which I don't know a whole lot about, but trying to keep up with it. So Heracross, if you don't know Heracross, uh, yeah, I guess he would be, it depends on when you stopped really paying attention. Uh, he would have been outside of the original 151. Yeah. And uh, so Heracross has like horns that come out like like one long, it's like a beetle. He's yeah. a beetle with a, with a horn that comes out like this with the cross like kind of antlers a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. And uh, he's not very powerful. But when I was spoofing, I told this story a couple weeks ago. When, when when I was spoofing, I could go all across the world. I don't. Did you ever play Pokemon Go? Uh, like one or two days, yeah. One or two <laughs> days, man. That thing was like a two and a half year, three year long addiction. For I'm me. not much crazy. of a gamer, man. I don't I don't play games at all. It's work and work and work. That's pretty much it. So yeah, yeah. Well, so I did this thing called spoofing, and I paid six bucks a month U.S. And I can yeah. go anywhere in the world playing Pokemon Go because the town that I worked in uh, or work in is just tiny. There's not a lot there, right? So I would go to all around the world, the Maldives. I'd go to Paris. I'd go to Russia. I'd go here, there, and everywhere. And um, I, I'd go to for Paris, and that's where all the Heracross were. Yeah. And I would pick up Heracross, and if you only played it a little bit, bit when they upgraded for Team Rocket to come in, Team Rocket was a son of a bitch to beat. Yeah. Right? So um, I found that Heracross, I just randomly put Heracross in my lineup. And I beat Team Rocket. And I was like, no way. No I only shit. had one Heracross. Yeah. So I'd go back to Paris. I caught all the Heracross I could. And that's what I used to beat Team Rocket. Heracross did the job. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No matter how weak or how powerful he was. I'm going to have to look him up because I never heard of him. Oh, man. Heracross is actually, I don't even know the sound that he made anymore. That's that's crazy. We're getting old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, my, my memory's gone, man. Except for pickup lines. It's like my brain dumps everything but fucking pickup lines anymore. <laughs> so... So having said that, uh, that's all your brain kind of just runs off of now. Yeah. Um, do you ever find yourself burning out a little bit? Yeah, I, yeah, I do. I, uh, man, I think my biggest issue right now is kind of a, like imposter syndrome, like, uh, or just coming up with content. Like everybody says, do more of these videos, do more of these videos. And I'm like, shit, man, that's all I do is, is pick up line videos. Like, and uh, yeah, that that's that's kind of my big issue right now is do I keep doing them or do I come up with some different shit or I got notebooks full of ideas, but you know my best ideas. Well, to me, my best ideas never get the hits like the the pickup line videos do. Like the I don't know if you ever seen the the pooper stopper video with the tampons, uh, the the fake movie trailer I did. Like I love making videos like that, but they only get they don't ever blow up like the, the pickup line. So is that on TikTok? Oh yeah. They're all on TikTok and Instagram. They're I'll, they're older, but I'll go and check it out. I'll go do some digging. 
Um, but you know, I find the best content that I've made usually doesn't do that well. Yeah. Right. It's it's the random one off shit that just goes viral, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, no, the best, the best stuff, the stuff that you put the hardest work into and you feel the best about it. Yeah. And that's fine. That's fine too, though, right? Because if you think about it, right? If it goes, everything goes viral, it's counterproductive. Yeah. You don't want to go viral. That means it's hitting people outside of your niche that really, you know, they they they're probably then you'll probably start getting trolly comments and haters and stuff like oh, that yeah. you know um we talked about this a lot on this podcast actually um and it started with greg from the second act podcast there's not greg wow gord sorry gord it was gord from the second act podcast i had him on and um you know we talked about that you know if if you think about it your video gets 700 views that's not a lot and you don't you don't feel good about it yeah, but if seven hundred people were standing in front of you listening to you talk right now, you'd be overwhelmed because oh, seven yeah. seven hundred people is a lot of people. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Oh yeah, I agree. So, uh, you say imposter syndrome and stuff like that. Does this is uh, your me- does it affect your mental health at all? Like, is it? Oh yeah, hard? yeah. Every day, my my yeah. My my brain is constantly reeling all day, like like I'm not that funny, you know, you know that kind of stuff. I'm not funny. I'm not good. Like I'm never gonna be a nobody, but, you know. But I push through it. So how how do you how do you get through it? There's got to be a way that other than just like, yay, this is this this is silly. Let's move on. Like there's got to be you know there's got to be something there that helps you move through that, right? Just uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to uh, Joe Rogan. Uh, that's my favorite podcast. Uh, I listen to Mindset Mentor with Rob Dial. I listen to uh, Order of Man with Ryan Mickler. And, uh, and you know, I can have be having a real down day, and and just those guys. It, that's really all it is. Is just pushing myself through when I don't want to. When you don't want to do something, that's when you gotta do it. The most. That's when you got to do it. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Um, I hear that. Um, here's something to add to your podcast list, uh, other than, um, you know, the uh, on the throne with Dick. But um, <laughs> you got to add the second act podcast to your list. That has become quickly become one of my favorite podcasts. I was a, I was a guest on there. I was like in uh, the 40s, I think, episode 40. And he's about to hit episode 100 here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Man, I've listened to over half of his podcast now, and just just a real solid individual. He uh, he also he lives down the street or not just down the street, but he lives close by to me anyway. And and you know what, uh, just a swell individual. I can't. I, I like the way he does his podcast. He keeps it to about forty minutes. Keeps it to one Calgary commute. Calgary is where we live, and uh, it takes forty minutes to get anywhere in the city if you anywhere you live, right? Perfect so commute, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he keeps it to a one commute, and you know it's it's not it's not um, when you when you hear oh he keeps it forty minutes, it's not rushed like you think it would be right. Cause, Oh, I got to keep it to this. No, yeah. it's not rushed. You know, it's, it's well planned out. It's staged up to like, okay, he's hitting every talking point and, you know, and, and, and doing that. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Second act. The second act podcast. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That that's on uh, is it on Spotify? Yeah. I believe it's everywhere. Spotify, Apple. Sure. Uh, yeah. Everywhere. Hell yeah. You listen, yeah, no, solid individual, man. I like that guy. We're we're in the same industry too. We both work in the oil and gas industry, so we 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 bonded that we bonded that way too, you know. So, hell yeah, hell yeah, man, hell yeah. So, uh, what uh, what do you do for fun in Arkansas? Like, I, I got <laughs> Arkansas is where um, Jim Bob lives and Michelle Jim Bob Duggar. <laughs> yeah, uh, we. Uh... We basically drink beer and go swimming. That's about all there is to do and blowing shit up, redneck and, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and have 19 kids. And have 19 kids. I got three. <laughs> my wife wants more, but uh, no. Whoa. I'm not throwing my sister out there. <laughs> my sister's last name is Duggar, but she's not related to them. Oh, there's somewhere, <laughs> somewhere down the line, though, right? It has to be. I don't know. What? 
No, I, I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, how how far away do you live from the Duggars? I don't know. We're about an hour and a half. An hour and a half, man. Yeah. I would be there all the time. <laughs> no, I just just grew up watching them on TV, you know. Yeah, I never. So, I, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was, I, I was, I was gonna circle back to that, but that you were, you were saying something there. Oh, I was just saying I never really watched the Duggars, but. I did. The wife did. I think I heard her say she did. Yeah, she did. Not me. Nice. Tell, tell the wife I say hi. He says hi. hi. He hear, she hears you. <laughs> that was it. Was it was kind of crazy for me um, when when uh, you commented on my video there. I, I was like, no way. I've been following this guy for a long time. I like his content, and Eddie's got a blue check, which apparently doesn't mean shit anymore. I paid for mine, so just to <laughs> I'm putting it out there. I paid for my shit. So I but but here's the thing. I went to pay for it and it was like uh no your uh your profile picture doesn't work. So I changed my profile picture. It's like, oh you're good. So I was like, hell, I could have been probably checked for a while if I would have changed my profile picture, but it is what it is. I just I don't know. I've wanted that blue check for so long. I had to get it. Now what? What comes next after after the blue check mark? You know, what? honestly, I I feel like I'm I'm growing a lot faster too on there since really? I got blue that. Check. Yeah. Interesting. Seems how like it. Yeah. How much do you pay for that blue check? Uh, it's like twelve or thirteen bucks a month. I think. That's not bad. That's not I bad. I don't want to pay for it, but I think that's the only way to go about it that's, now, right? That's the only option now, I think. Even the big creators have to pay for it now. That's insane. Because oh. I I just, I was, my train of thought was when I started this, and not when I started it, when I started getting bigger, when I started actually becoming a thing. Because when I first started, I didn't, I didn't see it going anywhere. But <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I when I first started getting in, you know, growing and, and taking it more seriously, I was like, "Hey, next stop, blue check mark, right? Let's yeah. get that blue check. Let's work for that." Yeah. And it was it was something to aspire to, right? Because it means you earned it. It means you you've become someone, right? Yeah. And 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 I don't know if that's some sort of false or or I don't I don't know the word for that. I don't know if it's some sort of uh, false sense of self or self worth. Yeah. I don't know. Because honestly, you're the same person you are without it as you are yeah. with it. Maybe, maybe it just life becomes harder with it because now you struggle because it's oh man, now I got to keep this up. Oh right? yeah. So you know, I, I wanted to earn it, and and that was my big thing. It and it was always like, hey, the time will come, right? And now it's like now you can have it whenever you want to. You can have a hundred followers, and you can have one. Oh yeah, that was that was my. That was my exact dilemma was uh, uh, whenever they came out with that, I was telling my buddy, shout out uh, Leonard Firestone. I don't know if you know him. He's big on Facebook, but uh, uh, he was telling me about it. And I was like, man, that kind of pisses me off, though, because I, I was the same. I was like, I want to earn this shit. I don't want everybody to just be able to pay for it. But at this point, it's like, what can you do? Yeah. Than that. So, but I don't know. Do you know? Do you know who Felonius? I think Felonius Waffle is. Felonius Waffle. Yeah. Sounds sounds familiar. He's a pretty big creator on Facebook, and I think he's over. He's pretty big on Twitter as well, and he's got the blue check. And he messaged. He didn't message. He responded to a comment where I was like, "Hey, man, how do you get this on Facebook?" And same thing. Just pay yep. for it. Yep. I, I know Twitter. Same thing. Now you got to pay pay for it, and uh, it's almost as if. And I'm not. I'm not trying to uh, void your blue check or anything like that. No, you're good. Um, but um, it's almost as if the moment you pay for that, and it's going to get to this point now, people are going to look at it as like, "Man, this guy sold out, right?" Because, yeah. and 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 hey, the, I hope that never happens. But like, it's it's kind of at the point where it's it's like, wow, everyone has a blue check and they paid for it. 
and and I'm probably gonna do it at some point too. Let's be real here, because yeah. just just for a month maybe, see if it makes any difference. You know what I mean? And 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 I don't know. We'll get there, but hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, I I definitely feel more pressure on uh, these videos. Got to be good. These videos got to be good. You know what I mean? So yeah, I get it. And 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 I'm kind of both ways. Like I shouldn't. I should. I don't know. I just. Hey, it's it's your choice. It's up to you. Whatever you do, everyone else, their opinion doesn't matter. It shouldn't yeah. matter. Um, yeah, I just uh, it, it's kind of weird that I said that their opinion doesn't matter and it shouldn't matter. But hey, why else are we here? Yeah, <laughs> their opinion yeah. made them hit that follow button, right? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Whatever. It, no, it's it's it is it's a tough spot to be in for sure. You know, as a content creator, it's ah oh, man. I, I don't know. I I don't know where I stand on it. <laughs> I'm at an impasse with it. I guess. I, pe- people people don't understand the stress of being a content creator at all. They think, hey, hey I've got, I think I got seven or eight hundred thousand cross platform. People think I'm rich or some shit. No, I'm I'm struggling every day. Yeah, and hey, and then you know to put to put it, you know. Um, this way here, I guess you're struggling every day. And, but sometimes also, you know, to, to create your content and to add to it, you go out and spend your own money on props, right? Yeah. My yeah, camera. I've done that. Yeah. Mike stands, all that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I have, I don't know how many tripods and, and, and ring lights and, 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 you know, if I didn't get sponsored or if I decided to go into this, and, and just get the mic and all that and the headset before the sponsor, I could be looking at a couple grand if I oh, wanted yeah. a really good setup, right? Oh, yeah. Now, the good thing is, though, you get to write this off on taxes, but it don't save you in the minute. But we got to write off our house and uh, every piece of equipment this year. So that was nice. That's cool. That's cool. As a Canadian... I, we, oh, don't, yeah. we don't we don't get paid on social media really um yeah when i go live i get gifts i can get gifts that way um that's that's really about it merch i got merch so you know and then sponsorships like i have the the heat wave glasses those blue glasses i'm always wearing it, oh, it's yeah. been pretty good it's been pretty good actually it hasn't been all that bad but you know that's in 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 canada if you if you want to get paid you got to really you got to go after it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a struggle, but Hey, you know, and, and it's kind of weird. It's, it's getting less and less weird now, but like listening to my American counterparts talk about how, their job, how this is a job for them. Right. And I kind of get that in a way. And, and another point I want to make about getting paid, I also make my TikToks at work a lot. So, you know, I'm getting paid there too. Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, I, I just, I just want to make this. I want to make it happen, and that's. I don't know. I don't know. I'll make it happen. Just, we just, you just gotta keep pushing through it. I don't know. Who's who's the biggest person that follows you? Uh, Jelly. Do you know who Jelly Roll is? I know who Jelly okay. Roll is. His wife follows me. Um, I got some big YouTuber, uh, freaking forgot his name. The singer for Papa Roach follows me. That's cool. it, it's mainly on Instagram. I get a lot of, uh, like NFL players and, and musicians and stuff that follow me. And That's really cool. Uh, I think the coolest was jelly roll being in a video using one of my sounds. That was, that was awesome. That is cool. Je- jelly rolls wife follows you, but not jelly roll. I don't know. I haven't checked. I don't. He wasn't the first time I checked, but that was a couple months back. We got. We got to get Jelly Jelly Roll. Where you at, man? We, we got Jelly, Roll. Jelly Roll. Come on, Jelly give Roll. me a follow, go, bro. I'm He's got a concert right. here pretty soon, and I'm gonna go show up front stage in my bad daddy outfit, and hopefully they notice me. Oh man, that would be intense, dude. Oh yeah. Uh, if you get Jelly Roll to follow you, tell him Dick Frost has been trying to get a hold of him. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I send out, so I send out messages, so what, I had Ed the Sock on, I don't know if you know who Ed the Sock is, but I had Ed the Sock on, uh, episode, 
11 maybe i don't even know anymore these are all blended together but um i had at the sock on and he said sometimes half uh, sometimes the funniest part is trying yeah and i i messaged i messaged some pretty like famous people sometimes no yeah. and, and like these people are never gonna read this they're never oh, gonna no. get back to me and uh so far only uh, two, two people, three people. I, I don't even know who Colonel Chris Hatfield is, Canadian astronaut. Uh, I got a message back from him saying, hey, like, I'm busy. I can't. So, hey, that's cool. He didn't have to say anything. Yeah. Um, and then there was Brian, uh, Brian Martin, who, who's a big, big country singer down in the U.S. there. Uh, he tours with Taint, Tainted Lyric. I don't know if you know who Tainted Lyric is. Mm -hmm. um, but he tours with him. And he said he would come on, but I had to deal with his agent, right? I had to, uh, that was the first time I've ever had to deal with an agent uh, with something. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, Dr. Tara, you know, Dr. Tara, she's the sex relationship therapist person. She makes some pretty crazy videos about like orgasms and she says <laughs> some pretty funny stuff. It's really, really uh, funny actually, yeah. but it's all educational. Yeah. And she said, Hey, I got a new book and my own podcast. I can't. I may so, have seen her looking up some pickup line or, or looking up some dirty lines, and I think I've seen her before just saying like dirty words just to make sure I can say them on TikTok and shit. Yeah, so. I, I I always try, and once again, it comes back to the blue check mark. Yeah, I, I always see someone the blue check, and I'm like, let's see, right? And I send yeah. that message, and you know, more often than not, they don't read it, but like it's. I knew I knew when you commented and I, I was like, holy shit, this guy just commented on my video. What? Right. Yeah. And then uh, so so then I, I messaged you and, and you messaged me back. And I don't know if I'll ever get down to Arkansas for us to hang out, make a video. But like, hey, this is the next best thing. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah brother. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've done the same. I've messaged a lot. I've embarrassingly, embarrassingly messaged Joe Rogan, which I know he's not going to message me back. Some of my favorite band members and shit like that, and uh, like Mark Norman and uh, Shane Gillis, some of my favorite favorite uh, comedians, and they they never reply back. But you never know if you don't try, right? The answer yeah, is always try. no if you don't ask. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's that's my favorite part about trying. It's it's like. How funny would that be if they said yes? Oh, hell yeah. How incredible would that be if they said yes? Oh, right? Yeah. And so I, I go down that road. I had a couple of hockey players message me back and say yes, but it has to be after the playoffs are over, right? Um, which, you know, for some of them, that's pretty soon. Uh, go Leafs, go. And um, I had, uh, oh, shit. There's Brian Andrews. Brian Andrews is here on TikTok, blue collar guy. He's got over a million followers. Things about the blue collar experience, and yeah, that's not my alley. He's actually we're actually recording tomorrow, so he'll be next week's episode. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, yeah. It, it's sad that I don't know because if I'm being honest, I don't watch. Surprisingly, I don't watch a lot a lot of social media. Like I don't watch TikToks. I, a lot i get on there and i watch my friends stuff and i like that comment on that but like i said man i work all day and then i get home and try to do what i gotta do and i don't like scrolling very much i like scrolling on instagram a little bit and and talking to some of those people but it, honestly man i got so tired of the hateful comments that i don't i don't like saying this but i don't read a lot of my comments anymore there's so many so many hateful fucking people and I don't think it's healthy for your mental mental health. No, Whether to read good comments, which isn't major ego boost, or negative comments, which fucks you up for a week. I get I got a message from a guy not long ago saying, Hey, there's people dying all around the world and this is the kind of stupid ass shit you're doing. Fuck you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, what what are you doing for the world? You know, at least I'm trying to make people laugh. Absolutely. It, it's just like Bro, don't waste my time. Um, so the industry I work in, I work in the oil and gas industry, blue collar industry, and uh, my boss says some pretty off the wall shit to me. And the way we talk to each other at work is pretty uh, not nice a lot of the times, right? Yeah. But it's funny. We we all know 
where it comes from and we all know we, most of the time we don't mean it so you know anything anyone has to say to me in the comment section i can generally handle and i try to answer back every comment yeah it's get, it gets it gets hard sometimes especially if the video takes off especially if it's like a million views or more it's like uh this is difficult so i usually spread answering them back i'll answer back a few here and there and then a couple weeks later i'll come back i'll try to answer a few more and then like a few days later i'll try to answer a few more eventually i'll get around to them eventually that video has to stop growing yeah <laughs> right yeah. so um but yeah there there's some pretty heinous heinous comments in there and and you know i i, I laugh at them I, yeah. I i i see where it's coming from and a lot of them are just trolls who, yeah. who are just trying to get you fired up anyways oh yeah so so i just ignore them but you know at the beginning I pussyfooted around the comments a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Like someone is like, "Whoa, well, I made a I made a video that said the worst part about the coronavirus uh, was no more free samples at Costco." Yes, mm -hmm. and I didn't expect it to blow up. All yeah. right, and it blew up, and uh, and there were people like, "Oh yeah," because the worst part wasn't my grandfather dying. The worst part wasn't me being laid up in bed not knowing if I was gonna make it or not. Yeah. And and I was like, geez, you're right. I'm sorry about your grandfather. Yeah. I'm sorry you were sick. And I was trying to pussyfoot around those comments right back, right? And I was just like, you yeah. know, like, no, nah, these people, like, there's a lot of people out there that you you gotta you really gotta fire back sometimes just to shut them up. You gotta fire back at everything you got. Yeah. Right. And well, that, that's my problem is I'm trying to I'm trying to to spread love you know in, in yeah. a weird way so when i see the stuff like that i want to be like hey dude like if something's fucking you up you know shoot me a message i'll talk to you like for real i'll talk to you because i know you're going through some shit yeah. only people that say that kind of shit is fucked up people that had fucked up lives but i just usually just leave it alone yeah but i made i made two videos over the last year one of them was uh it was every day. I'm getting closer, and I'm sitting there at the uh, uh, in the truck uh, at work, and I'm like deciding whether I should drive into work or oncoming traffic. Yeah, right. And it was meant to be funny, right? Who yeah. Doesn't who who doesn't sit in the vehicle being like, I don't want to go to work today. Yeah. And it wasn't meant as like, oh, I'm gonna off myself, but that's how it came. Uh, it came off as some people and the comments were like, for the most part, everyone got it. But then there was a lot of comments in there. They were like, I feel this every day, man. I just want to drive off the bridge. Yeah. I just want to do this. And someone, someone sent me a message like, Hey, I reported this video because I found it on my son's wall and he, uh, my, uh, he shared it. And uh, he's tried to kill himself a few times over the last couple of years. So, yeah. you know, and at that point I put up a comment and I pinned it. I'm like, Hey, in no way was I, trying to endorse offing yourself or oh, yeah. taking another family with you. If you're going to drive into oncoming traffic, I wasn't trying to do that. Yeah. Um, so basically what I was saying was that, you know, Hey, you know, some days are harder than others and I don't want to go to work that day. Right. Yeah. Uh, I am myself. I'm not feeling this way, but I did not realize until I read this comment section that so many others were, yeah. And if you need help and I put the numbers for the places you can get help and the email addresses where you can find help and stuff like that. I'm like, if you, if you are genuinely feeling this way and you need help, please seek it out. Yeah. Right. And oh, then, yeah. um, yeah. And then, um, the, the other video was recently where it was like, um, Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I'm really, I'm dying inside was the sound. And, and I put in the caption, it said, uh, what blue collar workers really mean when they say they're living the dream, Yeah, they're dying inside. Right. And I looked sad. I looked, I was standing, I was in the vet, I was in the work truck and I was just like, like just exhausted. And, uh, I thought it was funny. Cause hey, man. give me one second. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm really sorry to cut you off. I'm about to piss my pants. Oh, yo, you go piss your pants. Man. Oh you man. Do you gotta do. Sick. Sick. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to myself. You don't worry about that. Uh, I'm, re I'm really good at talking. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, big shout out to uh, our sponsors, our new sponsor, who, you know, new mic, new new soundboard, new headphones, um, the Mudman for, you know, you know, being a sponsor, I guess, uh, for all your drilling fluids and the laboratory equipment needs. Contact the Mudman, www.mudmanmarket.com. 
And uh, that's that that blows my mind that we've come this far. We're on I think this will be episode twenty or twenty one. I I won't really know. Like I said, they're all blending together, but this will be episode twenty or twenty one and, and we're we've got a sponsor and and this is crazy to me. He actually I was far enough ahead where I didn't record for three or four weeks. And he reached out to me a couple of weeks back and I'd already recorded like episodes 12 through 18 number 19 and said, Hey man, it will come out and we will get this going on the next time I record, but I got to take a break. So yeah. Shout out to them. That's incredible. I'm at home right now. Yeah. This is just taking some days off here before I, do my thing and it sounds like he's back from draining the main vein holy shit i'm so sorry i was about to piss in this chair if i didn't run don't with that worry second. Don't uh, even worry about it buddy i i guess i'm good at talking i just oh. gave another shout out to the sponsor mudman market and uh it was perfect perfect time to do that so <laughs> yeah, well, i'm yeah. good now that's good buddy that's good um but like have you ever left Arkansas? Like, do you have you moved away and then come back, or has Arkansas always been home? Uh, I moved to Texas. Uh, well, I moved to Springfield for about a year, Springfield, Missouri, and then I moved to Texas for about a year and then back home. So it's really where I've been my whole life. What did you do for work when you were in Texas? FedEx. We had a uh, traveling FedEx team, and uh, that's when I was making the good money. And uh, the good money. Oh, yeah. Those, well, they used to. They don't anymore. But yeah, the traveling contingency FedEx teams used to make some good money. So, but unfortunately, that ran out and uh, no more. Oh, man. Whatever. Hey, yeah, the, you, at least you're home now all the time, right? You know, oh, there's yeah. nothing, nothing wrong with that. You're home every night. You, you know, you're, there's never an empty spot on the bed next to your wife. Yeah. Well, she got to live with me in Texas. Uh, but we only had one kid at the time. Or actually, my second daughter, or my second daughter, my second kid, my daughter was born up in Texas when we were there. We were allowed to have our families with us, and then some drama happened with some of the other drivers, and boss was basically like, no more families. Y'all, if y'all are going to travel, y'all got to be by yourselves. And uh, I, I actually traveled to Minnesota and Wisconsin about two years ago for – uh three or four months and uh that was hard that was by myself so what what kind of drama did you guys have uh, uh, yeah i don't know but what, was, was it wasn't them, me it was what, some other drivers hooking up or something uh, I, I don't yeah. remember exactly but uh some married drivers were hooking up away from home with other dry yeah uh, oh, i don't yes. know what i don't know fedex after dark <laughs> that sounds like a good podcast name fedex after dark oh dude you should make your own podcast mm. no <laughs> bad no daddy more. delivered a special package to bad mommy last night <laughs> 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 that's that's my that's actually my wife's uh tiktok bad mommy official does she make how, how many followers does she have i don't know a few thousand I, I I basically replicated my formula. I had her; she's got her own little get up, and I had her stand outside and do some pickup lines, like you know, five pickup lines. And hell, she hit two hundred thousand views on the first one I made for her. Good for her. So, but she's she's not into it like I am. So yeah, same with my wife. My wife, she so she she was never into it. The, be in the beginning to begin with uh, she was sending me tiktoks that's how it started for me they were sending me tiktoks and i and i they were sending them to me through text and i want nothing to do with it oh yeah so i started my own tiktok account just a user account and i'm like here send them here i'll watch them there right and i the plan was to never watch them but yeah. you know covid hits i'm bored I'm, i start watching them yeah and i'm like i could do this Right, I could do this. Yeah. So you know, I get a little more ballsy every time. You know, make another video, make another video. My wife's not into it, right? She, uh, she never came into my lives at first at all. She, I don't think she really cared. Um, and then 
you know, then she started coming in more. She started becoming a part of my community that I have, right? Where, yeah. you know, she's Mrs. Frost, right? Uh, yeah. she, she's 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 the backbone of of Dick, right? Yes. And so <laughs> she's the she's the backbone of dick <laughs> and uh so she comes in and she starts she she starts making her own content a little bit i'm i'm helping her out tell her, hey you should do this this goes well with my niche and and now your niche because i work in the oil field you're an oil field wife so this is technically your niche too yeah. so i'm like do this use it like this she's like okay cool so she did that blew up yeah. Right. Cool. She's got like maybe two thousand followers or something like that. She doesn't yeah. really put content out, and she she was putting kind of content out pretty regularly there for a little while this past summer. Yeah. Like last summer, and then she stopped, and she she doesn't care. Right. She she's like fifteen hundred, two thousand followers. I'm good. What do I need more from that? Yeah. I don't. I'm not an. She's like I'm not an influencer. What what? I'm not trying to be one. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's we need to get our wives to quit and make content instead of going and working jobs. Well, I don't know if your wife works a job, but no, my my wife my wife hasn't worked in five years now. Um, not not outside though. She yeah. she's a stay at home mom. Our our kids are are three and five. Yeah. My oldest is just about to wrap up in the next month of her first year of school here. Yeah. So uh, my youngest isn't in school yet and we're trying to have another one. So, you know, there's, you know, there's uh yeah, she's a stay at home mom. And, and to me, that's the most important and hardest job there is. Oh yeah. And it works for us. You know, I work away and I work in the field. I'm gone for three, four weeks at a time and she holds the fort down here. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know if you know anyone that works in the oil field or not, but uh Oil field wives, backbone of the industry. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's my my wife's kind of been on and off working jobs, different jobs. She worked for UPS for like a month, and they fired her. Fuck UPS. I, I don't know Fuck if I UPS. Just said that. Fuck UPS. Fuck uh, UPS. There ain't no FedEx. She was gonna become a UPS driver so I could quit my job and make full time content, but. Uh, that didn't work out, but now she's working at a, a place called Brownwood. She takes care of, oh, yeah, Brownwood. She she takes care of disabled, uh, disabled people anywhere from babies to full grown adults that can't take care of them themselves. I I wish you would have not told me that part until after I had my way with Brownwood. But now that now that you've now that you've said what she does at Brownwood, I, I, I can't joke around about it. So good, good for her. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> I may be quitting soon, though. I don't I don't know. Uh, oh, I just got to get the nerve up to make that jump, man. Hey, you know what? I I know a few people who've done it. And honestly, like from the sound of it, it's a little dicey at first, you know, but you got to have faith in yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? And you got to, if you don't think you can do it, don't do it. Yeah. But if you know, or you think that, Hey, there's a real shot here, right? Go ahead. You, you, you make that leap, right? It's, there's only because then, because then it's in your heads. This is you now, right? Yeah. This is, it goes based off of how you want it to go. You put that work in it's, it can only succeed. Yeah. Well, that's a tough decision though. Is like, making up that decision can you do it or can you not yep yep no that 100 percent. i don't know i've thought about it a couple of times you know like i've thought about it you know where you know i've had a couple i've had some really good months on this app you know what i mean like yeah uh not even just not even just tiktok facebook getting paid on facebook um you know uh gifts and merch um I thought, you know, I can't quit my job. It's not hard to find uh, where the rigs are around here or the pump jacks are around here. I could go yeah. out, mass create content uh, over the course of an afternoon, have stuff to go for, the, uh, uh, for a whole week's worth of content, and and no one's none the wiser. But then yeah. that's then that's not me being authentic either, right? That's kind of me, you know, my my niche right now. Like I'm at work, I'm getting dirty, and I'm I'm there. Right. Yeah. And and that's why I think people relate and follow. Yeah. You know, so I'm I'm boots on the ground. I'm in the trenches there making I'm making videos while I'm in the trenches, but I'm there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I can definitely appreciate that about you is that, that you're making the content for what you actually do. Yeah, it's hard. I work over 100 hours a week a lot of the times. Yeah. And I bet you do. 100 hours a week at work, then I got to make content, watch content. Yeah. Um, you know, be a father, be a husband, and and then sleep in there somewhere and a podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess yeah. I'm just being a pussy because I only work 40, 40. Uh, well, I took a third day off. I'm all, I'm down to four days off, or no, I'm down to three days off now. I only work four days. I just, uh, had that about a month or two ago cut me down so i can make more content but i guess i'm just i don't know that's not being a pussy man that's that's you uh you know they're they're you we need people like me and we need people like you right so like you know i go away i put on them hours well who's doing the other stuff right you're you're delivering packages you know i i order things you deliver things simple as that right and Hey, if I if it wasn't for people like you, I'd have to go to a box store. <laughs> right? like, I couldn't be lazy inside my house. And I'm always bitching at people for not going to the damn box store. Instead of <laughs> making me carry their damn couch up to the front door and shit. What? Whoa, whoa, you've had to deliver a couch on a FedEx truck? Well, like boxed up couches and recliners and shit. Maybe, maybe not a full size couch couch, but yeah, we, we do I they hired a bunch of the little personal vehicles to l- deliver all the small shit anymore. And now all those ground guys just get the big shit. So up to 150 pounds all day, basically all big furniture and shit like that. Shit. So, to have, you ever had, have you ever, and I've always wondered this. Okay. I don't know if you know who basement Brooks is. I think he works for FedEx too. He's in Portland, I believe. And he has a podcast too, basement buddies. And, um, so I was, I'm I'm wondering like, um, you know, is there ever like, is there a back room at FedEx where like shit that just doesn't get delivered or goes missing off the truck or, or gets sent back and no one knows where it goes to? Is there a back room where all this stuff goes to that you guys get to like choose from? No. (laughs) Now let's go to FedEx after dark. Is there a room? FedEx. (laughs) (laughs) No, some shit gets damaged sometimes and it just gets sent to our QA and sometimes it gets sent back to the shipper. Now there's probably some drivers that take some shit off trucks. I I don't know, but uh, I'm, I I have pretty much have integrity and I eight years never been accused of nothing, but uh, I know we've had some, uh, some weed packages and shit show up and drug packages. We've had some, uh, uh, I forget the guy and I don't know if I can go much detail, but he, this guy in Fort Smith was getting like a hundred packages every day to his house. And he's like, he's in anyways, I'm not going to go much into it, but he was getting like a hundred packages and, and it, it, it was a credit card fraud. He was stealing people's credit cards and, uh, there was a big investigation on that, but, We've had some packages bust open, smell like weed, and they cut it open, and there's big bricks of weed and shit in them. And what's the what's the penalty in Arkansas for uh, marijuana? I have no idea. Is we, it against the law there? Uh, federally, yeah. Uh, well, we have they have medical here, but it's not recreational yet. So, Can- welcome to Canada. Canada yeah. marijuana is legal recreationally uh, over the course of the last five years, I think six years, maybe I'm not sure what it is, but yeah. I, I just did an edible for the first time about six months ago. Oh, really? Oh yeah. No, I've never smoked it though. I, I've never done any of that stuff. I know in parts of Canada now um, they have the safe, the safe site, safe use site or whatever in BC, British Columbia. You yeah. can, they have cocaine, heroin, all that stuff that you just, here, have it. I'm going to watch you use it. You're going to use it safely. Done. Really? It's, it's <laughs> not well received. Um, actually, I think it's, you got, you got a lot of people on both sides of that. You got, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence. Yeah. Right? Um, Got a lot of people that are like, yeah, hey, at least they're using it safely. You know, you know, if they overdose, someone's right there for them. Yeah. And it's and it's clean. They know that it's clean. Yeah. Um, but then you get the other the other side that's like, 
are you endorsing this? Yeah. Right? And yeah. I get it. I see both sides, and that's just – I don't know. I, I'm the same way, man. I see I see both sides about pretty much everything, and, and that's what I try to do. Uh, I, I think, in my opinion, I think – they should be illegal or no legal. I think drugs should be legal for adults, consenting adults. But at the same time, there's some people that just go way too overboard and steal shit. But the big thing is like fentanyl, man. Fentanyl's going around. Fentanyl's in everything, meth and coke and heroin. And at least if it was legal, there would be less overdoses. And uh, I don't know. I, like I said, the kind of the teenage area and kids is kind of what I'm on the fence about it being illegal or legal. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I have a couple more questions here for you before we wrap her up there. Uh, um, uh, I asked this question and I had a boss ask it to me a few years ago and I ask it in every podcast. Uh, I don't know if you listen or not, but, um, uh, everyone, um, so the, the Mount Rushmore has the four most influential people in American history. Um, who's on your Mount Rushmore? Who, who influences you and who do you look up to? Four. Uh, oh, man, you could put me on the spot here. Uh, <laughs> if I could say, uh, I, I know, first of all, would be Joe Rogan. I love Joe, Joe Rogan, man. Joe. He, he, good old Joe. He's he's a great man. I think. Uh, hell, my dad. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's probably that's all I can think of right now. You put me on the spot. That's that's <laughs> the that's the that's the whole point. That's the whole oh, point. Oh, on the spot. Make, make I'm terrible at thinking on the spot, man. <laughs> you got this. Mm. Oh, I'm still thinking now. Uh, let's see here. Making me nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I would say uh, probably. My wife. Oh, good one. She's on mine, too. Not yours, mine. My, my You're wife. giving me a look now. She thinks I just said something bad about her. Yeah. You, I said you should be on Mount Rushmore. You're... Who who do I look up to? Who would I put on Mount Rushmore? Who would I... Huh? Not you. I wouldn't put you on Mount Rushmore. Who would I put on Mount Rushmore? Yes. You don't got to be sorry. Who would I put on Mount Rushmore? My wife thinks for me. Get her, yep. get her in here. Let's, let's get Joe her Rogan. Here. Joe Rogan, my I'm dad, here. who do I like? Bring, bring her in the camera. Bring her in. I look rough. <laughs> she, she looks rough. I'm sick. She said she, said she looks rough. Oh, come on now, bad mommy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't feel so hot. Uh, I would say, I guess, uh, Ryan Mickler. I, I really... Uh, Really respect Ryan Mickler from uh, one of the podcasts I listen to, Order a Man, just because he puts out everything about himself, and he's, you know, I, I, I like him a lot. What What do you need? I don't know. I can't think of a fourth person. Me, bad daddy. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't, that's the right answer. All right, there we go. I don't <laughs> deserve it, but all right. You give yourself way less credit than what you deserve. No, I'm not funny. <laughs> oh, man. What time is it there in Arkansas? 1048. You're an hour ahead. All right. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. Um, and I guess I guess last question before we wrap this up, and, and I'm just curious because I don't know anything about Arkansas, but in 2024, what are you, what are you doing? I don't vote. Okay. All right. Nope. No, that's fair. That's fair, but what 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 kind of state is Arkansas? Like blue, red, what? Uh, I think it's mostly red. Mostly red. Okay, I and I, I'm just curious. I, I I don't care about. I do care about politics, but like I I try not to. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I think both. 
I was raised conservative, but I, I think there's good views on each side. I, oh, I yeah. don't get into politics at all. No, you need both I, sides. Uh, I'm like, uh, do, do, you know, keep to yourself, do what you, what you want to do and leave everybody else alone. Let them do what they want to do. Live you know? and let live. Yep. A hundred percent. Amen to that. Well, buddy, this has been, this has been a lot of fun, man. Uh, I, you know, I, I, uh, since I'm home and whatnot, I, you know, I, I don't get to be home that often. So I'm going to go hang out with the wife here and, uh, yep. get to, before she gets too tired and starts giving me that side eye and, you know, I'm going to start, I'm going to go and give her some of those pickup lines. So. Hell yeah. I appreciate it, man. And I hope I didn't screw it up because I'm terrible. No. I'm socially no. awkward. So. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like you and I, you, you could have a conversation on the phone with someone, right. And, and not be worrying about how it goes. Yeah. This is, this is exactly like that, except for eventually other people will hear it. Right. Yeah. So it's just a conversation between two people that, you know, no one else hears for at least a week or two. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me on and uh, looking forward to doing it again. Oh, hell yeah. No, this, I say it all the time, man, especially like people I like talking to definitely, definitely have you on again for sure. At some point, maybe as like a guest co-host or something like that. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I like, I like that. Especially, Hey, especially if you get jelly roll in there, you, you, oh, you, you, get reach jelly out, roll. you reach out to jelly roll for me and he says he'll come on the podcast. You know, you pencil you in for guest co-host. I'm going to try you. You get on that. You get you you do me that solid and and hey you're gonna be sitting in the hot seat. Hell Next yeah! <laughs> All right, buddy, this has been fun. Hell yeah! Appreciate it, man. Okay, thanks for coming on, and you guys, uh, you guys all stay frosty. All right, thank you.